Well, this is simply the kind of story you can't make up. In fact, we spent much of our investigation simply tracking down all the people involved in this case across three states. We learned that this balloon and the note it carried was a deafening call for justice. Among the thick trees and under a clear November sky. We got a little deer staying around the corner here that we sit at. A message delivered by the winds was found here by Ginger Howe and her family. Alicia was murdered, murdered by her caretaker at 16 months old. The caretaker still walks today. It didn't take us long to trace that note back to the Baker family in Dunlop, Iowa and the story behind the tragic life and death of 16-month-old baby Alyssa Gernsney. You don't know the person at all. You've never seen them. You've never met them, but yet you know what they went through. You know the pain that they went through. Baby Alyssa died in 2009 from what her family and court documents indicate was the result of horrific abuse at the hands of her caretaker, Christy Schaefer. Now thousands from across the country who call themselves Alyssa's army call for justice to be delivered in her case. She pled guilty to a class B neglect felony charge, which doesn't even result in the child dying. She came back after 77 days and he released her. So that's, you know, that's what had, has people so outraged. Although he never met her, Colton and his family came across Alyssa's story almost a year ago. On Alyssa's birthday in November, his brother Quincy released the balloon, one of just about 22 that would eventually be discovered a week later in South Carolina. But just how did a regular balloon like this end up in South Carolina after having traveled more than 1,200 miles all the way from Iowa? Most of the time, they go up, they pop, and they come down maybe 10 miles downwind, and that's it. And I looked at the charts, and that night there were winds up in the atmosphere that were over 100 miles an hour. So you'd need to be going north of 100 miles an hour for quite a while to get 1,000 miles in you know, 12 hours. I will follow it forever. If nothing happens, I will keep following it. And probably till the day I die, if it's still up, which I hope it's not and I hope that they do find justice for her. There's been people who changed their careers and have gone to school for social work and that kind of thing. We hear these stories all the time. If one child can be saved from Alyssa's story, then that's her legacy. And for Ginger, who still stalks these woods, listening and searching. It's just a miracle that it was in such good condition and made it that far. This note has been a gift an invitation to remember and fight for a life lost too soon. This is very rare. Baby Dragonfly brought it here. Christy Schaefer was released earlier this year after serving 77 days, but she is now back in custody on drug charges. She now faces up to 12 years in prison. PJ Randawa for the Ray.